Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Tina's Easy Recipe. So today on my channel, we'll be making fried Brussels sprouts. This is another super easy recipe to make, but it's super flavorful and super delicious. So if you guys are ready to get into this video, let's get started. So we only need a couple of ingredients. Of course, the first ingredient will be Brussels sprouts. I'm using a two pound bag and then some bacon and onion, two tablespoons of butter, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, seasoning salt, and black pepper. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut this onion and I'm just going to dice it just like this. Alrighty, now we're gonna cut our Brussels sprouts and I'm gonna show you here how I cut them. Um, some people just cut them in half and throw them in the oven, but we're making fried Brussels sprouts. It's kinda of gonna look like cabbage once we're done. So I'm just going to cut our Brussels sprouts into very thin strips just like this. And I'm going to get rid of the ends. So once our Brussels sprouts are done, now we're gonna go into cutting our bacon. And I'm just gonna cut them into small bite-sized pieces. It doesn't matter how big. I think mine are around one inch or half an inch or so. So now we have our shredded Brussels sprouts, we have our onion, we have our bacon. Now let's get into cooking all of this goodness. So first step we're going to do is fry up our bacon. So I'm just going to put it in the pan just like this and I'm going to fry it up. I love cooking bacon, oh my God. It's just the flavors that come from this bacon it smell so good, you guys. I wish you guys were here to experience this goodness. <laughs> I wish they had a way where we can taste the food through the camera. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, so our bacon is almost done, but before it's done, I'm gonna add in our diced onion. Once the onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna go in with our butter. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to slowly add in our Brussels sprouts and I'm just adding half of the Brussels sprouts first and mixing everything together and then adding our seasonings. I'm not gonna use all the seasonings yet. I just like to layer our seasonings. So once we add more Brussels sprouts, we'll go in with more seasonings. It's just to make sure all the Brussels sprouts are nice and coated. So of course we're gonna go in with our pepper, our seasoning salt, our onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And I'm just gonna give it a nice stir and then I'm going to add in our other Brussels sprouts. And of course, add more seasonings. Once we do that, I'm just going to cover the Brussels sprouts with the lid. And as you guys can see, this lid is way too small, but I do not have a lid that is big enough for this cast iron. So this is just gonna to have to work. And we're just gonna place the lid on it for about three to four minutes until our Brussels sprouts start to sweat. And once they start to sweat, we can take off our lid and this is how they're looking. So good, so delicious, and it does not take long at all. From start to finish, this recipe only took about to 15 minutes. So now I'm just going to plate it up so we can try our recipe. Oh my God, look you guys, they look so good, so flavorful, and trust me, they even taste better than they look. But alrighty guys, so it's time to go in and try these Brussels sprouts. These Brussels sprouts were so good. Like they were super good. They were so amazing. And I hope you guys really tried them at home because I'm sure you guys will think the same thing. 
so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye guys